you guys for coming to our mini Comic Con. Let's see if we can find some books that you might enjoy. So I'm going to talk about Isadora Moon has a birthday. Isadora Moon is not a regular girl. In fact, she's not a girl at all. Her mom is a fairy. Her dad is a vampire. Makes her a vampire fairy. But she wants a regular birthday. Not one filled with magic like a fairy's party, or one done at night like a vampire's. A regular human birthday party. So, she gets all of her friends invited, and she asks her parents to bring it to get a bouncy castle. And her mom brings down a cloud from the sky for her friends to bounce on. What other adventures are in store for Isadora and her guests. Find out in Isadora Moon Has a Birthday. Detective Gordon, the first case. Detective Gordon is a detective in the forest. He's sitting in his office one day when he hears, wretched thieves! The squirrel comes running into his office. The detective asks the squirrel to sit down let me help you, tell me what happened. And the squirrel starts to explain that all of his nuts have gone missing. Everything he stored for the winter is gone. And the detective realizes he needs to stake out the squirrel's trees. So he goes out into the forest, waiting for the thieves to show up and it starts to snow. And it snows and it snows until the detective is all covered up. So he can't even move when he sees a little mouse scurry up the tree and come back down with a nut. Well, the squirrel sees the predicament that the detective has gotten himself into. And she comes over and helps dig him out. And the detective realizes that there's no way this little mouse could have stolen all of the nuts. So he asks her to help him because she can scurry up the tree after the thieves when they find him. And so they start their case to find out who stole the nuts. Find out if Detective Gordon and his new partner, Buffy, figure out and solve the case. And Detective Gordon's first case. The Princess in Black takes a vacation. Princess in Black, otherwise known as Princess Magnolia, needs a break. She's been fighting monsters night and day, day and night, never gets a break. So when she meets the new superhero that has come to her kingdom, the Goat Avenger, she realizes she might need to be able to take a break and leave the protection of the kingdom to the Goat Avenger. So she decides to go to the beach to take a nice, well-deserved vacation. Only there are monsters at the beach. Find out how the princess in black saves the beach, how the goat avenger keeps the kingdom safe, and if she ever really does get her vacation. And the princess in black takes a vacation. Captain Awesome goes to superhero camp. Have you ever wanted to go to superhero camp? Have you ever gotten a chance to go to any kind of camp over the summer? Well, Captain Awesome and his superhero friends get a chance to go to Camp Kapow for superhero boys and girls to learn how to be better superheroes. Only when he gets there, there's another team of superheroes that are more like supervillains Will Captain Awesome be able to band together with his superhero friends to save the camp? Or will this be the end of Captain Awesome? Captain Underpants and the revolting, re the revolting revenge of the radioactive robo-boxers. Now, in case you haven't already read some of the Captain Underpants, Captain Underpants is really Principal Mr. Krupp, 
who has been hypnotized to believe he's a superhero by two of his students, George and Harold. Anytime somebody snaps their fingers, Mr. Krupp becomes Captain Underpants. And it takes water being dumped on his head to return him back to being the principal. So in our last adventure, Captain Underpants fought Tippy Tinkle Trousers as he tried to take over the world. Tippy, Professor Tippy ex escaped by using the time machine in his robo pants. And he went back five years and he changed the future. Now, there is no Captain Underpants. Who will save us when, when Tippy Tinkle Trousers returns and tries to destroy the world? George and Harold build their own time machine, go back in time to try and save everything. Find out how this all goes in Revenge of the Robo Pants. The Adventure of Joe Schmo, Wyatt Burp, Rides Again. What's a crime fighter to do when there's no crime to fight? Well, Joe Schmo decides to go back in time and fight Wyatt Burp, who she just learned about him in school. But when she goes back in time, meanwhile back in her own time, the Society of Evildoers is plotting to get rid of Joe Schmo. So will Joe Schmo be able to defeat Wyatt Burp only to return to her own time and be destroyed? Or will she be able to solve all the problems? Find out. Finally, we have Super Cat versus the Party Pooper. Super Cat used to be just regular old tiger, the cat, until he ate some weird fungus that was on his owner's James socks. Then he became Super Cat. He can talk, he can sing, he can fight villains. So, when the queen at her birthday party and all her guests go down with a sleeping sickness. Oh, the queen, super cat lives in England. So does his sidekick, James, whose birthday is the same day as the queen. So back to super cat. He realizes he needs to go to the queen's palace to save the queen. When he gets there, he finds out that the person responsible is his nemesis, Count Backwards, who wants to be the king himself. So, Super Cat and his sidekick James need to save the queen. Capture Count Backwards and still return back to James' house for James' own birthday party. Super Cat. So hopefully one of these books has sparked your interest and you'll find something fun to read. Thank you.